And let's talk to Rio in Detroit. What's up, Rio? You're 19. Hey, how you doing? Is uh, Dr. Drew on? Yeah, Rio, what's happening, buddy? Hey, how you doing? You remember me? I called you uh, a little while ago. Absolutely. You were the greatest man in the history of Detroit and Loveline for that particular night, Rio. <laughs> okay, look, I want to let you guys know uh, your screener, she had a problem when he called it in because I guess he thought it was like a fake call. But I you got to get the out there and get your bitch right, All right. All right. Rio, were you the guy who masturbated in front of your stepdaughter? <gasps> mm -mm. Um, Without knowing? No, no. I didn't masturbate in front of her. She walked in on you. She she was weird. Yeah. She walked in on me. Right, oh, right, right. Story. I just want to let the screener know that this stuff is true. I'm not like calling, making this up. No, I, I get you. I get you, real. Much respect for you guys. All right, real. What's happening? What's happening tonight? Okay, this might happen, man. Like a little while after that, like a week after I called. This is the straight up truth, man. Uh, I was hanging. Okay, I got a favorite cousin. It's a female, and um, I like hanging around. You know that. You know I've been hanging around for like you know months. You know because I just met her back up with her, and I found out she was my cousin, a blood cousin. And so what happened was she she always wanted to try ecstasy, you know. And she said like if she tried it, she would try it on me, but she wouldn't try it out with nobody else, you know. The body split. I'm trying to make a long story short. Please. But anyway, she ended up. We end up. You know, I, I went over there. She had four ecstasy pills, and we went over there. We was drinking and blase split. So what happened was, um, she tried one. I tried one. All right. And so we was drinking and we didn't feel anything, you know. So we like. So she told me. She said sometimes you got to try two of them. To maybe fill it, or you, you know, so, sometimes it won't, you won't fill it if you just try one. Got it. Uh -huh. And so what happened was, you know, we, we, ended, we ended up, we ended up <laughs> popping another pill. And I'm not proud of this. This is this is straight up true. So what happened? We ended up popping another one. Yeah. So I still didn't feel anything. So we were just drinking, and as the night went on, I could, maybe about an hour later, maybe 45 minutes, an hour later, you know. Uh, when you're drinking, sometimes you want to just dance or whatever, and that's what she likes to do. We, uh, in Detroit, we do the ballroom. I don't know if you know about that. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what we like to do or whatever. So, she, so, so this is straight up true. We, uh, she, cut, she cuts on the radio, so we start, you know, she started dancing. Or she was like, come on, cuz, let's do the ballroom. So we started dancing and blase sleep. <laughs> and Dr. Drew, <laughs> Real. help me, buddy. I'm so embarrassed. You the only guy I can confide in. I can't really. I'm glad I found this station because I can't confide in anybody else. Bobby Spree. Bobby Spree. We start ballrooming and dancing. Dr. Drew, the next thing you know, man, I got my cousin Beth over on the couch. Oh! oh. oh. Spree. I guess those two pills cousin. kicked in, Rio. Look, I'm doggy styling my cousin. Whoa! I was. We was having sex for so long. It seemed like when you own it, the time just stopped. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to ecstasy, Rio. Wow. Oh, I'm telling you. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> no, look, so, all right, it's so funny. what... I know what? it's funny. Look, I know it's funny. There's no, like, you know, like, redneck type nothing. This is... I'm a brother from Detroit. Really? And you I are? I, I, yeah. <laughs> I can't believe I did this. It's like I'm so disgusted. All right. What, do you, what do you, can I do to help, Rio? All I want to know, the question is... I want to know if ecstasy made me do that, or yes. was it already in me? Did I want? No, to it's probably in you. Probably in you a bit too. No, but ecstasy. I know you're the doctor. The ecstasy. Come on, yeah, hundred percent. Wait, wait a second though. He did call her his favorite cousin. Her favorite. He liked hanging favorite out with her and stuff, yeah. and he probably a little something for her. But you wouldn't have done it under. If you were if you were loaded, you wouldn't have done it. You would not have done that without the ecstasy. That that's what I'll give you. <laughs> but listen, Doctor Drew, I, I performed oral on her and everything. It's like we never knew. It's so. Whoa, like you did that. Person. Yeah, I did all oh, on my cousin. I'm not proud of that. Okay. And, and we, we did everything under the sun. But just, that's, not, that's not the killing part. The killing part is it seemed like time just stopped. And we that's the doing, part that I bothers We were having sex for so long, Dr. Drew, her baby daddy walked in and caught us. No. Wait a minute. Yeah. We got into an altercation. That's what <gasps> I'm saying. And it's like now she keeps calling me. You know, I had to not. I, I threw him a couple of blows. I, I, you know, real. We gotta I'm like. Not sure what I, I, I'm not I gotta. Sure what I gotta get a writer and sit down with you and take your life story. This is wild. It's Last just, time you were <laughs> masturbating in front of your girlfriend. Where's your girlfriend right now? Oh, uh, I mean, that's why I'm thinking about moving. I don't even want to. <laughs> <laughs> why are you moving with Drew? My cousin keeps calling me. She keeps calling me. I'm talking about, I'm talking about I didn't put a condom on or nothing. I wanted her raw, and I'm, I'm really upset about it. Any chance she's pregnant? I don't know. Oh, boy. You gotta, she keeps calling me. All I know is my phone keeps ringing, and, you know, I got her name programmed under my phone. Oh, man. And real. it keeps coming up, and it's, it's so embarrassing. I don't want to talk to my family. It's like I've been staying, like, away from my family. I miss my family, but it's just so embarrassing. Does your family know? Uh, that might be why they're calling me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite a
Oh, oh real wow. man, dude. Or maybe on, man. they just wanted to tell you that the Tigers lost tonight. All right, here's here's my advice, uh, babe. I don't think so. All right, real. <laughs> here's the series of a series of uh, just directions I could give you. One, try to get your cousin to take the morning after pill if it's been less than 72 hours. It can reduce the risk of pregnancy dramatically. Hopefully, she's already on some kind of birth control, but there's that. Oh. Yeah. Number two. I think stop in contact with a cousin is a good idea. Just giving that a few months to cool out. She has a boyfriend. He wants to kill you. Why get into that chaos? <laughs> this was a drug-induced thing you wouldn't have done otherwise. Three, talk to your family. Even if they do know something, you shouldn't be Face abandoning. Face yeah, you shouldn't abandon your family just because you, you – and look, people – Look at Mel Gibson, what he did on drugs. If he, you know what I mean? On alcohol, whatever. People do horrible things what on What do you call the officer? Sweet boobs. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I own Malibu. I own Malibu. Get and then out said, of my beach community. And he said Bobby's <laughs> Flea right after that. And then and, and Rio, continue calling this show anytime. Like, anytime. We, we are delighted to talk to you. And Your welcome stories to are the, amazing. Welcome to the ecstasy world, Rio. It'll, it'll make you have and sex look, with your and cousin. Then there is a fourth point. Lay off the ecstasy. It is a one of the drugs that is clearly neurotoxic. It damages brain, so be careful. And some of your anxiety and all this, this sort of accelerated feelings you're having may actually be left over from that ecstasy, too. Can I give an ecstasy tip also? Please. And you can correct me if I'm all wrong. Right, Sometimes, you guys, you may take one, and you'll be like, I don't feel anything. Then you take another. That's not the best of ideas. No, right. Do that. Right. That one is going to work yes. eventually, and, and by the way, going to be fine. Higher dose, higher damage. I wouldn't know about it, but I figured that yeah, could happen yeah. that way. Could no, I. seriously, Drew, remember when I called you at 5 in the morning? I was all tripped out. You were not. No, I wasn't. I'm just kidding. I swear to God I was not. I promise. I swear I wasn't. Liar, 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 whore, liar, whore. You know it. I swear on all the lives in this room I was not on that. I promise. Angela Kinsey is here from the office. Brian Baumgartner is here. He has a huge fist and he's ready to use it. (laughs) They're on the office on NBC. And we'll be back in just a minute on Love Lines. 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 Love L